Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. And I want to start by saying that I know a lot of you, you always want to uh, put me to or to uh, to put me on either uh, this side or that side. This is what is used about a lot of you. You always want to put me, you want to put me either to the UPND or you want to put me to the to the PF. Always you want to do this. And if I am on either side, the other side is uh, will start criticizing me, will start saying all sorts of things, like Basharin Mumba here is already saying stupid. That is fine. That is fine. I mean, you are free. That is, that is your opinion. If you think that uh, I'm stupid or what I'm saying is stupid, that is okay with me. I don't have a problem with you. I, I, I'm, I'm not going to be uh, like these other leaders, you know, uh, whereby when somebody tells you their opinion, what they think of you, you quickly, you know, want to rush to the police. Uh, or if you are in power, you want to arrest people. I mean, this is done. UPF used to do it. UPND is doing it. Uh, which is actually wrong for our democracy. So the point that I'm trying to make is that either side, whenever he says anything, you want to look at it, is he supporting UPND? Is he supporting PF? That time is gone. That time is gone. That time of me siding with either UPND, siding with either uh, uh, PF, it's gone. Now I want to speak from my, from an objective point of view, from an objective point of view, where I'm going to say things as they are. If UPND is wrong, I will not um, sugarcoat it. I will, I will just say it as it is. If PF is wrong, I will not. Whatever I was, I'm speaking from an objective point of view, and from an objective point of view. Today, I want to talk about President Ed Galungu and President Haka Inde Hichilema. My comments are as a result of what uh, uh, Mupezeni, uh, Chief Mupezeni, said um, and the reactions that are coming out. Chief Mpezeni said, you know, these two leaders must reconcile. The problem with the, uh, Ed Galungu is like, he's sort of like disturbing, you know, the incumbent. I want to tell you that for me, I do agree with the Chief Mpezeni. And mind you, I have criticized Chief Mpezeni before. And um, uh, I think I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. And I've been intending to go there as well. I've been intending to go to Chief Mpezeni as well to go and apologize because at one time, really, I said something here on social media, which, uh, you know, has been, I've been thinking about it and I intend to go and apologize. I'm just looking for resources. Once I get resources, I will definitely go to Chief Mpezeni to go and apologize. Uh, I've apologized to Chief Mukuni, and some of you think because we are in court, that's why I apologize to him. No, even Chief Mpezen is one of those that I'm, I need to go to and apologize. Apologize for the comments that I made here on social media. He didn't drag me to court, but I believe that what I said, uh, you know, about the traditional leader is not right. I also want to 
I also want to urge other people that I think when we are reacting to statements coming from, from traditional leaders, let us bear in mind that they are traditional leaders, they are our traditional parents. They are our traditional parents. They are, they deserve our respect. So I am, I am really throwing this appeal to everybody, to the general public, to those the political players, political operatives, that please, when we are reacting to traditional leaders, let us let us be considerate of what we say. Let us give them the respect that uh, they deserve. I am not so happy with some of the comments that I'm reading relating to um, Chief Mpezeni, Paramount Chief Mpezeni. I am not. I'm not very happy about it. I'm not going to mention names of the people that have commented and I feel uncomfortable. But suffice to say that some of the comments that I've read, I, I, I'm not comfortable. I'm not, I'm not happy with them. I'm not happy with them. Uh, and I want to urge everybody, please, let us respect our traditional leaders. Now, what Chief Mpezeni said is basically, for me, I do agree with him. Chief Mpezeni uh, is trying to say, look, let's give this man space to, you know, to rule. Let's give this man space to rule and let President uh, Edgar Chagwalungu be the former president as he is supposed to be. In, in a way, he's just basically saying that, look, this man is coming around. Basically, what Chief Mpezeni is talking about is this uh, 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 unclear position of President Edgar Lungu. Is he a former president? Is he, is he still active in politics? I think that is basically, that is the issue that Chief Mpezeni is trying to talk about. Now, we can agree that from where we are coming from, that yes, uh, Edgar Lungu is being followed over that, over that, over that, over that, over that. And surely, that is not good for our former president. That is not good. Those following those cases around former Edgar Lungu, surely those cases shouldn't be there. Shouldn't be there. Out of respect of the former head of state. Now, is what uh, President Edgar Lungu doing okay? No. No. It is not okay. Yes, I was one of those that was busy trying to campaign for a labor rapport and so on and so forth. Now, by the fact that I was supporting a labor rapport, I was doing all these things. Is it okay for President Edgar Lungu to continue claiming to be a statesman and yet is inactive in politics? Eh? The question that uh, I think all of us should look at is we we President Edgar Lungu at one point he wants to be considered as a former head of state with the respects that he deserves the respect that I'm saying he should be given and he shouldn't be dragged to court and so on and so forth but at the same time we know there is an agenda of Alevu Lapo this is a big issue my brothers and sisters this is a big issue we should be very clear the former head of state should be very clear we should be very clear on this position of president edgar chagwalungu we should be very clear and if we are pretending if we want to pretend that no 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 Edgar Lungu is not is not doing politics right Edgar Lungu is doing politics that is the point right Edgar Lungu is not is, is doing politics and if he's doing politics how do you expect Haka Inde Hichilema to take him as a former head of state truth be told Edgar Lungu is doing politics now if he's doing politics how do you expect Haka Inde Hichilema to treat him as a former head of state this is the issue this is the issue. This is the issue. We are all crying, including me. I want 
Edgar Lungu to be treated with respect as a statesman, as a former head of state. That is what I what I want. That is what I want. And I don't want him to be dragged to Kuma court here and there. But then, President Edgar Chagwalungu is still doing politics. He's still doing politics. Yes, he's not coming out to really say, yes, I'm doing politics. He's not coming out doing that. But he is doing politics. And I have said it over and over to say, if he's not doing politics, why is PF not going for a convention? Why is he still appearing on the registrar of society uh, register as the president? What about the issue of Alevwe Renapo? This issue is very clear. Yes, Nakachinda said the the, the Alevwe Renapo is a is a call from people. Come on, which people? I started the Alevwe Renapo. I brought the Alevwe Renapo in the public domain, and I know where it came from. I know where the Alevwe Renapo agenda came from. I know. So let us not pretend here. Uh -uh. Let us not pretend. And okay, fine. If people want him to come back, what is he saying himself? Why can't he respond? Does he want to come back or he doesn't want? Why can't he respond? If people are calling for that, what is his response? Because this issue has been in public domain for some time. If indeed, if indeed he doesn't want, why hasn't he said that? So... We have to be very fair to these two people when you are looking at these, uh, these these two people. We have to be very, 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 very fair. Hakainde Ichinema, let us condemn him. Let us admonish him for the wrong things that he's doing. What I'm saying here is not that Hakainde Ichinema is doing everything right. No. The economy is bad. A lot of things are going bad. And we need to condemn President Hakainde Ichinema for those things. But we should not try to make this man, we should not verify this man that he is treating badly the former head of state. We should not verify him. Much as I'm saying that, yes, these cases shouldn't be there. But how do you expect Hakainde Ichinema to treat Edgar Chagwalungu when he is active in politics? is active in politics and what do you think HH, i mean he has to take him as a as a, as a, as, a, as, op as an opponent because this is what it is this is what it is coming to as long as edgar chagwalungu is in politics haka in the we have no choice but to take him as an opponent he will take him as an opponent he will not take him as my predecessor and give him the respect that we all would like to see he will not give him that he will not give him a platform, a platform where he can campaign. He will not do that. He will not allow him to use the position of former head of state to campaign. He will not do that. This is a fact. This is politics. Hakan Dechlema is not that foolish to give him a platform to campaign as former head of state. He will not do it. This is a fact. So as long as Ed Galungu remains in politics, as long as Ed Galungu remains in politics, we shouldn't complain when Haka Inde Hichirema treats him as an opponent. And let us not be hypocritical here to start saying, no, okay, he has got the right to do this, he has got the right to do this. It's true he has the right to do that, he has the right to do that, he has the right to do that. But unfortunately, I want you to underline this. Yes, Edgar Lungu has got the right to this and that and that and that. But let me tell you this. Be very realistic. We are on earth. Edgar Lungu is not the right person to claim for those rights. This is just a fact. You can go to wherever. Edgar Lungu is not the right person to claim those rights. Why? Because Edgar Lungu himself did not give those rights to others, to those who were his serious opponents. He didn't. 
he didn't give those rights to Haka Inde Hichilema. He didn't give those rights to even people like myself. When we challenged him, when we threatened him, his, his policies, his power, he didn't give us the right. So yes, he has the right. Uh, Edgar Lungo has the right. We all have the rights. But unfortunately, if we have to do well, you know what I mean? Kui well, I'm off to say, okay, I'm not the right person. And for us to really uh, 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 smoothen our political arena, Edgar Lungu is better off out of this politics. He's better off. Because as long as he's there, these two will keep on fighting. And it will be very difficult for to speak for the rights of Wahagba Edgar Lungu when he himself did not give the rights. Yes, you can say, no, uh, uh, two wrongs do not make a right. Yeah, two wrongs do not make a right. But unfortunately, you can't force that on Haka in the Ichilema. You can't force that on Haka in the Ichilema. It has to take a lot for somebody to ignore some of these things. It has to take a lot. And so far, I think we should we should be happy. We should commend Haka in the Ichilema so far. Because so far, it's two years down the line, he has not arrested him. Yes, he has come as close as arresting uh, the wife, but he hasn't. Now, since he hasn't, should we make things worse or should we make things better? My view is that if President Edgar Chagualung would withdraw from active politics and remain a statesman it will be better off it will be better off i know when i say that it sounds like i've been paid to ask edgar chagwalungu to get out of politics but no that is not that is not true the issue is that it is for his own good it is for his own good it is for the good of this country it is for his own good or it's for the good of this country and if he doesn't want to get out of politics, then let him come out in public. Let him come out clearly to say, hello, I'm doing politics. I hope you follow me. I hope you, you, you get my sense. I am basically saying, if I could put it another way, uh, I'm basically saying, as long as, as long as President Edgar Chagwalungu remains in politics, as long as he continues to be in politics, this fight between Haka Inde Ichilema and Edgar Lungu will continue. This is, this is basically what I'm saying. As long as Edgar Lungu continues to be in politics, it means that the rivalry, the, the fight that has been there from a long time will continue being there. And as this fight continues, I only see one person suffering more than the other. And that person who is going to suffer more is by Edgar Lungo. But Edgar Lungo is going to suffer more because he, he doesn't have the power now. And I don't think he will never, he will ever get that power. I don't think so. I don't think you will ever get that power. So if you will not get that power, why should he continue being in politics? Why should he continue? I can assure you, I don't think that Ed Galungu can get power from Haka in the Ichilema. He cannot. Because really, if you think of it, Haka in the Ichilema, do you think Haka in the Ichilema will allow Ed Galungu to come back? Because him coming back, it means that it's revenge. He will not be coming for anything, but he will come to revenge. Uh, to revenge and do more on Haka in the Ichidem. So thereby, I mean, we continue with the fights. We continue with the fights. But I don't think Haka in the Ichidem will let go, will, do, will allow that. He will never allow that. He will never allow that. So if we want peace, 
if you want peace and if really people have got if people have got wisdom if president Ed Galungu has got wisdom if president Ed Galungu has got wisdom he will he should just withdraw for the sake of peace for the sake of this country it is selfish it is selfishness to think that you can only be only you can be the leader it is selfishness it is selfishness it is selfishness especially when you have even ruled the country before you have ruled the country before you have had the wisdom you have you have had the the, the opportunity to rule the country since you have had an opportunity to rule the country why not leave it for others to rule why do you want to hold on to it so that you continue keep fighting and we also continue keep fighting because this fight goes down to the people the fight between the two the, the two will never fight physically especially by Edgar Lung, so he will always be in his house but you people who are out there social media you will be the ones fighting you'll be the one fighting Haka in the HM and Edgar Lungu, they will never fight physically. Never. But the people who follow them behind, they are the ones that will be fighting. So, if somebody has wisdom, and the only one who should apply that wisdom is Edgar Lungu, because Edgar Lungu has ruled before. So you would rather just withdraw. You would rather just withdraw and allow other people to come in. As long as he's there, they will be fighting, and those fighting will go down to the to the people. Wisdom. Let's look for peace. What? How will that peace come about? That peace will come about by by Ed Galungu stepping down. Would it be wrong for him to step down? No, it is not wrong. It is wisdom, because he has had an opportunity, and there are other people that can come in than him continuing fighting, fighting. And some of you, you would say, no, I mean, uh, uh, HH is being unjust and so on and so forth. Let's be very honest. Let's be very, very honest. We know that PF did not rule this country uh, with integrity. No, let's not be, let's not lie. PF, there was corruption in PF. And by Edgar Lungu, but Edgar Lungu cannot stand up and say, I came out clean. No. No. He can't. He can't. He can't. He can't. I can tell you that. He can't. But Edgar Lungu cannot come out and say, no, I was exceptional. I never engaged in corruption. There is nothing that happened with, without uh, whatever. No, you can't. You can't. And some of us, we know some of these things. We know. Some of us, we know these things. We know. And even some of you, somebody was calling me yesterday. No, you are exposing Balungu. I'm not exposing Balungu. I am not exposing Balungu. I am not exposing Balungu. I am not exposing Balungu. If, you were to, if I were to expose Balungu, I mean, I would bring up a case here that all of you cannot challenge. If I were to expose Walungu, I can bring up one case that all of you here cannot challenge. All of you here cannot challenge. So, even as you are criticizing me, you should bear in mind that Walungu Ndabashamo, because I love him, because I ate with him on the same table, I shouldn't be the man that should come out to say, no, 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 hey, let this happen to him, hey, let him go to prison. No, no, I will not do that. I will not do that. I am simply criticizing his position in politics. That is my that is my issue. His position in politics. But Brian, very push at what case? <laughs> you are Dao. You are Dao, Brian Musa, to ask me to say what case? Because I'm basically telling you to say I can bring one case, but I'm not doing it. But then you ask me what case? That is being Dao. You can't ask such a question. Such a question is asking out of you, you know, being Dao. I'm saying I can't. I can't bring up because then you say what case? That is being dumb. And I'm not going to go that route because of the love that I have for Edgar Lungu and because I've eaten before him. And of course, 
I may not have benefited as much as other people did, but certainly the point is that uh, I, I did benefit uh, in, in one way, uh, in some ways, in some ways. My point is simply to say, let him get out of politics. And this is not because HH has paid me to tell him that. No, it is based on the fact that, number one, but Edgar Lungu can never get power from Haka in the issue. Number two, they will, we will not have the peace. We will not have the peace. And we will not, ha we will not be able to move forward properly with Haka in the Hichirema uh, and Edgar Lungu fighting. We will not have that peace. Thirdly, it is only by Hakai by Ed Galungu. If this fight continues, it's only by Ed Galungu who will cry. It is only by Ed Galungu who will suffer out of this fight. It is only by Ed Galungu. Don't be cheated. Don't think that no, uh, Ed Galungu is so clean and whatever, whatever. Mm -mm. It's not true. It's not true. It's not true, but Edgar Lungu can suffer out of all this. And if he continues, I can assure you, he will suffer. But he will suffer and not get power at the end of the day. And I believe I agree with uh, with the Paramount Chief Mpezeni when he says, let him give him, let him give the incumbent space to rule. He is making mistakes, but let us criticize those mistakes. Let us criticize those mistakes. But to add on the, the, the Edgar Lungu, I think it's a wrong, it's a wrong move. It's really a wrong move. But Edgar Lungu should stay away from politics. Not because I've got any ulterior motive. No, it is for his good. And it is for the good of this country. Chief Mpezeni is right. And I'll find time to go and visit him and apologize for the words that I said uh, some time back. I know some of you will say, whoa, 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 whatever. That's okay. I've given you my opinion. So far, the one who is not being fair to this country and to himself is Ed Galungu. If Ed Galungu pulls back, I think then we can start now talking to her, Haka in the HDMI, to say, please, leave the statesman. Let him be. But as long as he's in politics, it will be very difficult for us to criticize Haka in the HDMI. Because we already have a history. And we can't force Haka in the HDMI to, to treat Ed Galungu in a particular manner, which he himself did not create. I know he's a former president. Haka in the was not a former president. But when you talk about rights, it doesn't matter whether you are a former president, you are not a president. I mean, rights should just be given. But did Haka in the get those rights during the time of Edgar Chagwalung? We didn't. Can we force Haka in the to give by Edgar Lung those rights? I doubt. I doubt. The best that the man should do withdraw maintain the status of former head of state let him be given that respect and then we can nicely talk about uh, defend him when he's treated badly by the current government so far by ed galungu is in active politics and it is a pity that he continues even receiving the benefits of former head of state when he's active in politics he is active in politics and don't push us don't push us too far to to that level because if you start saying no no he's not in politics then you are pushing us you are pushing us you know what are you going to do if you start pushing us no no he's not in active politics not in active politics you are pushing us you are pushing us now to start bringing out things to prove that he is in politics All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. 
Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.